Hello and welcome back to the channel. So there is still a lot of nonsense going around regarding this Unreal um, Tech Demo. Unreal Engine 5 Tech Demo. Uh, it's always a weird thing that's going on right now. It keeps happening from a certain fan base. They seem to just think everything's exclusive to PlayStation all the time. And this is just another example. First, Firstly, they downplayed Hellblade 2 trailer. Saying it's just a trailer, just a cutscene, it's not any gameplay, blah blah blah. Then they hyped up this, because it was on the PS5, presumably, supposedly, it was on the PS5. Um, and hyped this up saying it's amazing, it's incredible, it's next gen gaming. Um, PS5 have shown something, Xbox have shown nothing. However, just to highlight again, this wasn't a game, it was a tech demo, it wasn't an actual game. It was just Unreal Engine just showing you what it can do. And just they just threw a load of stuff together. Just an example. So it's not even a game. So, no, it's not, it wasn't gameplay either. It's a tech demo. It wasn't gameplay, which I covered before. So they so other than still going on about Hellblade 2 not being worthy, but this being worthy, even though it wasn't gameplay and it was just a tech demo, it's not even a game. You, know, you can see the goalposts flying about all over the place. There. You can't even keep up with the goalposts and that. Um, it's like the whole poster in a hurricane. Um, now it comes out after that. Well, there was speculation during it anyway, but now it's said further on that um, Epic Games claims that the Unreal Engine 5 tech demo can run with full, at 40 FPS. It only run at 30 FPS on the PS5. It run at uh, 1400p, 30, 30 FPS, FPS. On the PS5, however, it can run up the same, but at 40 FPS, on a notebook, and apparently that's what the um, the demo was it was running from at the same time, which was then silenced. It was then taken off. A, a Chinese developer said, "Come out and said, blah blah blah, it's running on a Notepad, blah blah blah," and his comment and website thing was deleted, removed. Um, I guess from Epic Games because they wanted to silence it because Sony had paid exclusively to show this demo for the PS5 to sort of brag how powerful the PS5 is. But apparently it was running on other laptops and stuff anyway and better than the PS5 version. So, I mean, so there's that, right? Which is very interesting. On top of that, as I said before, They've also come out, and I think I showed before, um, they said it most likely will run better on the Xbox Series X in Unreal Engine. Epic Games CEO Tim Sweeney has confirmed that the feature powering the Unreal Engine 5 tech demo on the PS5 also supported on the is also supported on the Xbox Series X. So you'll see that that kind of graphic fidelity on the Xbox Series X. And as some people have um, come out and suggested, they would probably run better on the Xbox Series X because that tech demo wasn't pushing or making much use of the SSD at all, which is what is being hyped about, that it can't run anything other than the PS5. It's godly, that thing, apparently. It's too powerful. Um, apparently it can, and apparently it possibly run better on the Xbox Series X because the thing was GPU heavy intensive. And that's the one thing Xbox Series X, well, not the one thing, it has many things, but that's a major thing that Xbox Series X has over the PS5, that it's got better GPU. And this game was GPU heavy. Well, this demo was GPU heavy. So the Xbox Series X could probably likely handle it better. She probably would possibly see it running at a better FPS. Um, so they can further technology will be on Xbox Series X. And there's also, I um, read somewhere, that it possibly will be on the Switch as well. <laughs> So yes, this is not special or magical or anything for the PS5. It's only uh, solely paid exclusivity tech demo of a non-game for the PS5 just to show just to show something because at the moment they're not showing anything. They had this state to play, which just showed Ghost of Tsushima, which I'm going to get to in my next subject, and um, and this. So. Sony have still not shown anything really other than this tech demo, but they're being hyped, hyped to bits, the PS5, uh, over stuff like this, and it's just ridiculous, really. This is just a, it's just a tech demo showing an uh, Unreal Engine, Epic's Unreal Engine 5. Take it as that. 
there's a tech demo of Unreal Engine 5, it wasn't a tech demo of the PS5 really, or its games, nothing to do with it. It was just showing off what the Unreal Engine 5 will do next gen. And this isn't even ready yet, they're still using Unreal Engine 4, so this probably will be a bit further down the line, probably into 2021, 2022. In addition, games that are running on Unreal Engine 4 will be automatically upgraded to the Unreal Engine 5, and Xbox uses more games using Unreal Engine 4, thus 5, than Sony does. Also, games like Hellblade 2 that have been developed for Unreal Engine 4 will be upgraded to Unreal Engine 5, um, so stuff like that. So, so there we go. So let's move on from this nonsense. Please stop with the um, nonsense and rubbish and bullshit about it can only run on PS5, PS5 SSD this, PS5 SSD that. Until a year ago, no one cared about SSD. You didn't hear of it. It was nothing. Now it's, you don't need it. Apparently you don't need any hardware. All you need an SSD and a screen and that's it. You can run a supercomputer, <laughs> apparently. Um, but let's move on to the next subject because this is really boring me. It's just really tiring and, and just the common sense has just gone out the window and run down the road screaming. Right, next subject. So, bouncing back to Ghost of Tsushima. Um, Craig Director explains why there isn't a Karma system. So, yes, um, a lot of people have been hyped about this game and hyped about the Karma system in it, system in it that was going to take place, just like it was in the infamous Second Son um, series. Um, yes, they've took it out. There is no Karma system in there. So, there is no fighting your way through it and slowly turning either good or bad you are just you and regardless of what you do or actions you take you will just be you basically um so that's a bit of a shame there now some people are saying it was never there in the first place um even though that's, they're saying that after this even though before they was talking about it being in it and there's all hyped for that karma system now they've come out and said it's not going to have a karma system people say yeah well, it was never there in the first place it was never all hyped about it you kind of was really. You you was hyped for it and you was excited for the common system. And here it was, or here it is, the karma system that was introduced and then taken away in 2018. So I mean it's, it's been and gone twice now. So I mean, who's lying here? Was it never there and the journalists just kept reporting on it being taken out? Or was it put in and taken out, put in, taken out? Um I'll let you decide. Let's move on to the next topic. So, as the media continues to downplay the Xbox Series X and its games while hyping up the PS5 and its games, um, I mean, this one goes on to say Xbox Series X launch titles are a topic of hot debate right now. There are many reports and speculation going around, especially after Microsoft confirmed that the Xbox Series X won't have any first party launch titles. Um, they didn't say that at all. They didn't say they got. In fact, they've for a while now been showing their launch titles, uh, Xbox Series X launch titles. Halo Infinite being one of them. Um, Microsoft Flight Sim. Um, what else have we got going? Uh, there's a Forza. They said is around the corner. They've not shown anything yet, but they have massively hinted it. Now, most likely, be a launch title. Um, so I'm not sure. In fact, they're the only ones that have shown first party. So only have shown no first party games. But the media just always want to jump on and make up stuff saying it's Xbox Series X just to just put off people from buying one as much as possible. Um, as I said, they continue to hype up PS5 games. Best PS5 games, all the hottest confirmed and rumoured PlayStation 5 games. Let's look at these PlayStation 5 games, shall we? Uh, da -da -da -da. What we got? What, what PlayStation 5 got going to it? Oh, Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six. Okay. That's good, yeah. Cyberpunk, oh yeah, all right, yeah. Uh, Call of Duty, oh right, yeah, that's good, yeah, yeah, good. Godfall, <laughs> Assassin's Creed Valhalla, oh right, yeah, 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 that's good. Warframe, oh, oh yeah, that's brilliant. There's a, there's a Gothic, okay, that's uh, not remote play, okay. That was just remake as well. Um, yeah, so PS5 has no first party whatsoever. Um, and multiplats, it's just got multiplats, and they're the best PS5 games apparently. All multiplats, um, no news on them lacking first party titles, no news on any any bad news against 
Sony whatsoever, of course. Why would there be? Um, but let's move on. Okay, and now for the next bit of news. Platinum Games suggests it wouldn't be interested in Xbox acquisition. Um, so in a recent interview, they was asked if Xbox was to offer to acquire them, what would they feel about that? And they've said, we've not had any talks like that, but I think even if it was a possibility, we're now going into a more independent self-publishing. It's not that we're disinterested in Microsoft, but if the relationship were to be us working under the, their direction, I feel like that would be the opposite of what we're trying to do now and limit our possibilities. Any opportunities that would limit our freedom, I think we would be against. Um, firstly, everyone that my Xbox has recently acquired have given them complete freedom, and they've said that several times. Uh, complete freedom to create what they want and lust while we're getting titles that we are from their first party. Um, secondly, this is the same Platinum Games, if you recall, that uh, were working on Scalebound at the same time as working on Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, at the same time as working on Nier Automata. Uh, they were sprinting the, sprinting the funds for that and just take, dragging their heels on Scalebound uh, while working more towards getting Nier Automata, a PS4 exclusive at the time, and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles complete, which raid 40 on Metacritic. Um, so that's Microsoft um, cancelled them, said, oh, okay, we've had enough, you've been dragging your heels over this, you've been spending, spending our funds elsewhere. Um, goodbye, you're the weakest link, and drop them. Microsoft got loads of bad press for this, and two years later, Platinum Games spoke up and said, actually, it wasn't just Microsoft, it was sort of, we were partially to blame as well. So it took the, <laughs> it took the um, cowardly company two years to pluck up the carriage and admit they were at fault. By then, the damage was already done, and Microsoft had already taken the full blame for Scalebound being cancelled. However, six months after Platinum saying, um, taking some of the blame for Scalebound being cancelled, they just went to Microsoft and said, Microsoft, can we have Scalebound, please? Can we have the IP, please? Can we have it for free? Microsoft said, no. See what? No, you're mental. Uh, go away. So Platinum have, and um, and now have since said they don't want to work with Microsoft. All in all, they don't make great games. I don't like the games. I played Near Automata on the Game Pass. Uh, played it for an hour. Didn't like it. Um, it was just weird all over the place. It just wasn't for me. It was it was more like a shooter than anything. It was just a very basic shooter. Um, a very easy basic shooter. Um, didn't like it at all. Um, the games do well with Nintendo. They have a good, strong following on Nintendo. Other than that, their games are very average, and I don't think they're a great developer at all, to be honest. I think they're double, double A at most, and I don't think their games are being interested, interesting for people on Xbox, to be honest. They're just not... Uh, they're too generic, and there's not much variety in them, I don't think. But, um, so yeah, so they don't want part of Microsoft and I hope Microsoft don't want to be a part of them. I'm sure if Microsoft said here's some money they would soon soon, soon say, oh yes please, <laughs> let's join you straight away. Um, let's be honest here. Um, but yeah, so that's that bit of uh, <laughs> funny news I think from Platinum Games um, trying to um, puff themselves up again. Um, let's move on to the next bit of news. And finally, Gran Turismo Sport. If you was hyped for Gran Turismo Sport Sport, uh, sport, sorry, Gran Turismo 7, um, I'm sorry, but it's been debunked as not being true. There isn't a game in the works or in plan at the moment. Next Level Racing denies having knowledge about Gran Turismo 7. Yes, um, a story came out recently, uh, there was a leaked thingy that showed a logo of it on some advertisement, and it's possibly the game's going to come out as a launch title. Um, Next Level, who made the game, was approached and asked if it's true, and they said, no, it's not. We are not working on a game. Um, it's all um, just nonsense. It's all just fake. Fake news. So, unfortunately, if you was hyped for Gran Turismo 7, I mean, they could be lying, um, but they've said it's not true. They're not working on the game. So, sorry about that if you was hyped for that game. Um, as a launch game for PS5. I've still got no clue what PS5 first party launch titles are going to be. We we'll have to wait and see because they got an event in June or possibly July, the same as Microsoft, I believe, which possibly show first. Well, Microsoft show is just going to show first party as they've done a show showing third party and they wanted to separate the third and first party. So they're doing the second show, which would just be first party. Whereas Sony are going to do just just like E3, they usually do show third and first party in one show. 
which will possibly be in June or July. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching my video. Uh, please sub and share. Bounce it around on Twitter if you like. Um, yes, uh, please comment below if you liked what you see, or any discussion or argument you want to have. Bring it on, just don't make it toxic and nonsense. Um, thank you all for watching and goodbye for now.